Hey guys, we got mini chowder here. Uh, I discovered this type of base layout. Basically, you set up a perimeter and line it with mines. Now, it doesn't stop the heavy rushes, but it will stop <clears throat> quite a few attacks. But you got to be quick on your offense. Uh, Getting some pretty good, like 209, undefeated, undefeated. Uh, this one, I failed their base. There's a 230. 308 kind of nailed me. I think those were heavy rushes. And another one, but this type of layout is doing a lot better than the other ones. We're going to make this a quick video just to showcase this base. And we're not running a hero here on mini chowder. But we just got the heavies maxed out. And I wish, I really wish we had, had gone for a hero. But we're trying to get to the ice mines as fast as possible. And for some reason they're just not able to defeat my base sometimes. So that's basically what we're going to show off here. Um, really excited about getting further down the tech tree. Super glad that we don't have to uh, see our opponents at this point that's really great of supercell to listen to our concerns and to act on them let's see what our opponent did but the uh the hidden opponent is a great idea. It completely stops the uh, retreat. <laughs> the retreat wins. And let's see. Nothing really tough about my base. I do have a lot of maxed out machine guns, mortars, and flamethrowers. Sniper towers aren't maxed out yet. But having this uh, wall of defenses on the shore and mines surrounding every defense, every defense, sorry. <laughs> Did I distract you? We'll uh, definitely stop them. We're pushing our way up into gold eventually. I could probably do this without the heavies. I just like to send the heavies in. And here's another one. It would be great if I had brick. We could send in or use battle orders just to finish them up very quickly. But right now we're counting on our base holding up. The heavies are making a difference, believe it or not. They're clearing mines for the riflemen. And let's see, we got to shock these machine guns up here. They're going to be a problem in about a second or two. And he went through our base like a hot knife through butter. Two fifty eight. Let's see where Braytan finished at. 
pretty quick. Let's watch that replay. Might be a heavy rush. And it is. See, if we had brick, we would be doing a lot better. We kind of skipped that route. And I tried to add enough defenses on this side. They always hit the right side for some reason. But we can definitely tweak that a little bit. Make it a little more deadly. We could add some more cannons, bump those up. That would definitely keep them from finishing. And here's another one where brick would be awesome. Like I say, we went for the heavies first because we want to get the shock mines. Really excited about the shock mines. Hopefully that will uh, slow down our opponents. Doesn't look like he's going to retreat on us. Looks like he's going to finish our base off. I'm seeing a lot smarter uh, bases with the mines. <coughs> Definitely uh, giving us trouble. And boom. Got another gold player goes down. Very slow time. Looks like he's going for Grenadier Rifleman. That's why we put these sniper towers up here to try to hit the Grenadiers when they come through. Definitely needed to add a few ticks on those. And Brick goes down. And we got a retreat. So he's going to lose a few grins maybe on the retreat. But we are going strong. I love this base layout. I went up against one similar to it earlier today and it wasn't exactly set up like this but it caused me a lot of issues trying to flare and then of course you've got landmines placed everywhere which brought up another set of issues when you try to flare to the side of all the defenses anyway this type of layout seems to be going strong I was taking a look at some of the leaderboards and I noticed some some of the higher level players are using this type of layout and seems to be working for them and of course I, I kind of tweaked mine just to get it going and seems to be holding up we got some uh, some good, cool names up here in the local U.S. I even looked at uh, Op Destroy. He's using a similar base layout, and he's got the shock mines already, which means he probably has uh, heavies. Double D there, we got Big Bear, Black God, LOL Master. But that's going to wrap up the video, guys. I just wanted to show off 
this base layout seems to be holding strong, especially against, you know, pretty much everybody right now. We should be able to get up into gold probably tonight or tomorrow until the meta changes. Let's see, we got shock mines coming up. Then we can get our med packs. And Kavon will be several chests away. I think we're going to hold out on a hero on this account. At least until we get further up. And unfortunately, Seekers are way, way, way at the back again. Not real excited about that. <coughs> Where are the heavy choppers at? That's one thing I didn't... Way, way at the back, too. Okay, so... We gotta wait till those happen. So it's more of a grounded... Season. And so thankful for the... Long season. We got 27 days left... To push. Hopefully I'll... Be back into Legendary in no time. Guys, thanks for watching as always... Please leave a thumbs up. <coughs> <coughs> Chowder head out.